it just don't seem fair, you know? Sometimes it's not fair. It's the tragedy that rattled the Outer Banks. Three people hit from behind by a pickup truck, killing a mother and father. That's our top story this Wednesday night. Thanks for staying up. I'm David Allen. Investigators say the driver may have either had a medical emergency or fallen asleep behind the wheel. This tragedy highlights another deadly flaw drivers have to avoid drowsiness. It can be just as fatal as getting behind the wheel drunk. The CDC warns as many as a third of deadly wrecks are caused by a driver falling asleep. We're helping you understand the facts. That way, the next time you start to get tired on the road, you'll know when it's time to take a break. It could save a life. Robert Boyd starts us off tonight. Distracted Driving Awareness Month got off to a deadly start. A husband and wife run over and killed by a pickup truck while walking in Kitty Hawk on Monday. Police believe the driver fell asleep at the wheel. And often people don't think drowsy driving is distracting, but it is. Anything that keeps your mind off the road is a distraction. AAA says 10% of all crashes involve drowsiness. It claimed the lives of 795 people in 2017, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And your mind thinks that it can it can override that necessity to sleep. But, but safety advisor right. Catherine Beachboard um, says the worst thing a driver can do is fight that urge. Caffeine won't work. The rolling down the window, singing to yourself, those are all temporary things. They don't they will not work. Eventually what your body needs is sleep. And according to a AAA study, the less sleep, the higher percentage it is you get into a crash. Daylight saving time can be one of the most challenging times for many drivers. Your body gets used to waking up at a certain time and going to sleep at a certain time, and then we get this time change, and it's hard to get to sleep at this new time, and next thing you know, you're looking at two hours less of your sleeping pattern. Beachport also says the longer the trip, the more vulnerable you are. So it's important to have a plan before even leaving the driveway. My suggestion is if you're going to do long trips, uh, I would say take a 15 minute break every two hours or every 100 miles. And she says, remember, rest stops are there for a reason. Use them. 20, 30 minute cat nap in the parking lot will probably will get you up and going again. All right, Robert's out on the roads tonight, and we heard a little bit there about the time change. What are they uh, also saying is the most dangerous time to be driving, Robert? Well, actually, right now, the time we're driving, uh, when you think about it, it's late at night, it's dark, you've already had a long day, probably at work. So these are the kind of times later at night between maybe 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. we are most vulnerable to get sleepy. Uh, one more tip that I didn't mention in my story is people who are on medication, please look at the back of your bottle and see if your medication uh, causes drowsiness because sometimes people get in a, in a vehicle thinking they're alert, they're fine to drive, take their pills, and then a couple hours later, they start to get sleepy. So be aware of what you're taking.